Welcome to the Free Kit Martin Podcast. We're going to start today with a date, May 11, 2019. Kit Martin was at the Muhammad Ali International Airport in Louisville, Kentucky. He had just passed through security when he spotted a swarm of police officers rushing toward him. With passengers looking on, Kit Martin was handcuffed and arrested for the murders of three of his neighbors. To understand what led up to the arrest, you have to go all the way back to September 5th, 2012 in Pembroke, Kentucky. Stacy, can you describe Pembroke to our listeners? Sure. Pembroke is a rural town located in the southwestern corner of the state. The town was mostly made up of older houses with lots of land and farm fields. The small town was just a short drive from Fort Campbell where Kit was stationed with the 101st Airborne Division. He was an Army Major and flew the Apache Attack helicopter. Kit and his daughter Mackenzie, along with Joan and her three kids, lived right off Main Street in an older house. They painted a bright yellow. Now on this day, there was an argument between Kit and Joan that resulted in Kit asking for a divorce. Joan's response, was to issue a threat to ruin his life and career by accusing him of abuse. And that she did. Kit spent the next year and a half defending himself from a slew of accusations from child abuse to sexual assault to being an international spy. Despite being cleared by civil authorities, her accusations led to a court-martial trial. Neighbor Calvin Phillips was set to testify for both the prosecution and the defense. Two weeks before the trial, however, Calvin Phillips was found murdered in his basement. His wife, Pam, and neighbor, Ed Donzaro, were also found murdered. Kit was a suspect because of the upcoming court-martial. Kit went on trial for the murder charges on June 3rd, 2021. We have a pretty good idea of who we think is responsible, and it isn't Kit.